so excited to be here today. Darlene Sunshine, starting each day with a wink and a smile. You need to know who's sitting to my right. Across from me is Karen Eiffel, the esteemed author of such titles as Detractor of the Living and the bestseller, The Muffled Traces of a Boyish Laugh. Karen, so nice to have you. Hi. 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 Thank you and welcome. Now, I want everyone to know that this woman has just been reviewed by Max Weller as having the potential of becoming the new standard for English-speaking authors. Actually, no. The, um, well... Sorry, but it's the, the actual quote is the new standard for English speaking authors, as he said. But in fact, what he went on to say was a touchstone set too low. So, I, to be honest, I don't know why the publishers keep using that quote because it's humiliating, truly. Uh, absolutely, but you know what? We are happy to have you here, live in our studio. Off the heels of the muffled traces. Now, I want these people to know this was a book channel member pick for last December, and a little birdie just told me that you, my friend, have begun a new novel. Yes, I have. And we are anticipate it very highly. Well, good. That's no, thank you. I've just started it, actually. Oh, <laughs> you just. <laughs> Isn't that always the way? <laughs> what? I don't understand what you mean. No, I just mean, you know, I, you plan a whole interview around someone who's going to tell you about their new book, and it turns out she hasn't even started it yet. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'll, well, I'll, next time I'll write faster <laughs> for you. <laughs> this lady's the package, I'm telling you. Tell us, what is this next book going to be about? Well, um, <clears throat> it's about interconnectivity. Mm -hmm. The... Uh, looming certainty of death, oh. uh, men's fashion accessories. Oh, men's fashion accessories. You mean like cufflinks? No. Uh, actually, I didn't think anyone actually wore cufflinks anymore, do they? Oh, well, where I'm from, people still wear them. Trust me, my daddy had 78 pair, one of which was in the shape of Bob Hope's face. It was a gift from the man himself. My daddy was a little boy. Okay, can you tell me, what is this next book going to be called? Uh -huh. Well, it's called uh, Death and Taxes. Wow. You know, I'm from Texas. What? Born and raised in San Antonio. Darling of the rodeo. No. No, not, uh, no. <laughs> not Texas. Taxes. Death and Taxes. Death and Taxes. Oh. Taxes. Taxes. Like the Benjamin Franklin quote. Precisely so. <laughs> oh, that's that's I it. I feel so silly. <laughs> you should. <clears throat> Tell us, is this book, this next novel that you have not started yet, is this going to have the same Karen Eiffel model and charm? Maudlin charm? Mm hmm Is that what I have? Oh, yes, I'd say so. Mm-hmm. Maudlin charm. Maudlin. Charm. <sighs> that sounds awful. Oh, no, no, no. No, it's, it's meant in the kindest way, Maudlin. Um, now, if you all do not have any of Miss Eiffel's work, I encourage you to run to the store, folks, not walk to the next bookstore you can find. Here are a couple of other titles which some of you might find interesting, some of which I'm familiar with, some of which I'm not. Uh, the Widow's Calendar. I don't know, perhaps those of you who've lost somebody might be able to find out uh, exactly how long uh, you should grieve. It's not a self-help book. Oh, that would be grieving. No, The Widow's Calendar isn't, it's, it's not a self-help book, you know, it's not, I didn't write it to sort of help people through the grieving process, uh that's not... That's not what it is. Oh, Have you okay. read it? Um, I'm not familiar with that one, but tell us a little bit about uh, the poetry of train wrecks. Rhyming about trains? Trains, planes, mains, that sort of thing. Canes, mm -hmm. if you will. <laughs> now, Karen, I like to end each interview with a question. Tell us, is your glass half empty or half full? Uh, um, I'm not sure. I think I keep knocking it over. <laughs> but silly, another great moment. I tell you, keep knocking it over. You know what? Mine 
half empty, half full. I've done so much in my short life, I have a lot left to do. And one of which is to get your new book when it does come out. The one she has written, folks, The Widow's Calendar, Grieving. Can you tell us about uh, Four Black Veils? What is that? Is that some reference to the Bible? No, uh, Four Black Veils is... Um it's about a girl who loses several members of her family in quick succession. So it, the veils refer to the process of mourning. Oh. And the stripping away of the soul the in stripping. that process. Right, the stripping. It's got nothing to do with the Bible. Okay, okay. I don't believe in God. Uh, <clears throat> I would like to say on that note, thank you for watching. Run, do not walk to the next bookstore and get the books she has written. Thank you for being here. And all of you, start each day with a wink and a smile. Hello. Starting each day with a wink and a smile, I hope. It's Darlene Sunshine here. And who is to my right? Is this Willie Nelson? I don't think so. I love the men's accessories, though. Who says that those aren't out? That's fantastic, Kerchief. Folks, I'm excited because I want you to meet Peter Allen Prothero. Is it Prothero or Prothero? Prothero. Prothero. Now, this man, Willie, a.k.a. Willie, wrote The South Will Fall Again. Now, 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 Peter Allen, and we're not talking about the Australian from Down Under who sings and dances. Peter Allen, I want to know, The South Will Fall Again. I'm a Southern girl from Texas, and I want to know, what do you mean by that? Sort of a diatribe against the whole self-destructive nature of the uh, Southern man and sort of the uh, Neil Young sense of the word. Not, uh, as opposed to the Leonard Skinner version of, of Diatribe Against Neil Young. But mm -hmm. mostly greasy food, bad hair, you know. Now you're talking. Before I was like, you had me at hello. What? <laughs> greasy hair and food? I got. Now, um, where are you from, Willie? I mean, Peter Allen. Oh, Southern California. But, Southern California. But the other side of my family is all Texans, so... Give me a high five on that. Colleen. Oh, Colleen, I know it well. Wrote some horses down there, Colleen. Wouldn't be, it wouldn't have been. Um... Oh, no, only in the kindest way. I want to know, what is these, what are all these pockets for? They look like they've been added. You have some secret pouch. I need to know about your wardrobe and this, this lovely little uh, chain. Uh, well, everything has a purpose and okay. meaning, and we could be here all day, but yes, no, there's... Like little, uh, just your own little propage. Yeah, and everything, everything he needs to be, it comes, it goes, it changes, it uh, evolves. Anyway. I want to know, what was your, um, what was your inspiration for writing The South Will Fall Again? Tell me. Well, basically at this point in history, we've got uh, sort of this southern resurgence in politics, but it seems clear to me and to anybody who wants to listen to me that it, it's only a matter of time before the, the basic uh, self-destructiveness of southerners will just come back. And, I'm uh, sorry, I can't hear you. I don't like that statement. I, but you know what? I'd like to read your book because I bet it's controversial, whether you're southern, northern, short, tall, fat, heavy, no matter where you hail from, this book is going to be a book you're going to want to buy and you're going to just want to discuss with your neighbors. Now, uh, Peter Allen, tell me something. I like to end each interview, and by the way, thank you for being here and, ex and explaining your pocket situation, but I like to end each interview with a question. If you could have three people for dinner, they must be deceased, I'd like to know, who would um, you have? All at the same time? Yeah. You mean like good dinner conversation? Yeah, just like a good dinner conversation. Who would that be? Just, you know, off the cuff. Oh, uh, Isaac Newton. Oh, didn't he, in he invented um, uh, microscope? 
light. Light, light. I knew it was something like that, light. Um, gravity. Gravity. Um, 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 well, why not uh, John Kennedy and, um, well, just for good, good measure, um, uh, Georges Méliès? Oh my gosh, the off, the, uh, the artist. Uh, the, the filmmaker. Filmmaker, sure. filmmaker. Um, wow, John Kennedy. I want to know, was Carolyn on the phone? That's what I want to know. I would like to thank you for being here. Personally, my answers would be my, my great uncle Emmett, Marilyn Monroe, and Jesus Christ. I would like to thank you for being here, and I want you to help me say goodbye to the folks. Uh, you know how we sign off here at Darlene Sunshine? Start each day with a wink. And a smile.